That's face jabs, that's why. So we got a face oh, member on our fucking face, bro. That's really that nigga, too. No, it's not. Nah, yes, bro. it is, bro. That's really Jez, bro. No cap, because that's the only nigga that got Jez in. Jez in contact. Nigga, that's really fake Jez, bro. I, just, I just watched what? that nigga hit a collide. Quick scope. <laughs> nigga, YouTube that nigga. Oh, that bitch is so hard. I still don't have high cal for this fucking Kashka. Jesus, man. It's so many hit markers. I just now finally was able to enter the double XP code things that I had. I just went out and bought a shit ton of the Pringles and stuff. But by a shit ton, I mean like five can things. I didn't eat Pringles for the longest time. I used to hate them when I was a kid. <laughs> See, even though I stopped that thing from killing me, there was nothing I could do to keep my character from standing still going, there's still nothing I could do. Yes, mm, I'm out of this lobby. Holy shit. I've never seen level 20s play this well, ever. Dude, I can't wait to fix my headset. Now, I can't really say too much about the headset, but I got a little something in the works regarding a headset anyway. It's about as much as I can really say at the moment. I don't know, man. The more and more that I play, I actually feel like the time to kill is not as long as I made it out to be in my head. I keep thinking that I have all the time in the world to actually take my shot, but that's not true at all. Oh, I'm trying not to get shot by that here. Holy shit, what happened to her? One thing I noticed on this Call of Duty versus other Call of Duties, I actually saw Shroud talking about this on his stream last night. I mean, to be fair, he's just spamming Blackout or whatever. He doesn't really care for multiplayer. But he was saying that people were like hyper aware of everything. People's awareness on this game just seems... Call of Duty was usually the game where you would come across people that really were not good at all. Like, not even trying to shit on my own game, but like I've been playing this shit for years among years among years, making montages on people that were awful. A lot of clips are hit on people that are really really fucking bad i mean then again i mean if they were super good it wouldn't really happen to them right it's not entirely true but it's like half true i've been clipped a million times but i think i'm pretty good go ahead talk shit in that comment section i just realized that i entered my double xp codes for my xbox they say you're allowed a certain amount of time. Is that a certain amount of time on each platform or is it just in total across all platforms? Somebody let me know that, please. Either tweet it at me or some shit. I always do this shit where if I'm losing a fight, I just sit behind cover and wait for other people to kill them. I don't even care. Are these guys all use- no, he's using comsec. I think that other guy is though, for sure. I've actually started wall banging people through this van now that I know that you can die through it. <laughs> Can I kill somebody like this? ADSing right now as I was going prone and this is just what's happening. I was like, I wonder if my centering is that good. She's pissed. That's just inappropriate. Really quick, I just want to thank you guys for all the support on the videos recently. Obviously, be sure to like and subscribe if you have notifications and all that shit, dude. I always actually got so annoyed seeing all of that shit at the beginning of every single video, but I understand why YouTubers do it. I just never did that. But I get it now. I just want high cal, please. I just want any other sniper rifle besides the fucking paladin to actually work. I'm trying to figure out if I should even use a perk one, honestly, because looking at it, like, I know that sounds insane because it has tactical mask, flak jacket, engineer. It's not entirely bad, but it's definitely the worst one, I think, out of this entire group. But the thing is, is like, flak jacket on this game, whenever something's blowing up, it's very likely that you're probably just gonna fucking die, right? But then you look at tactical mask and it's like, but even then, I mean, it just doesn't even even seem like it does that much like i have it on but i just feel like i still constantly die to just like random shit i don't know man i might just take off the first perk and then just start fucking around doubling up perk threes or twos or whatever shit, maybe i'll even double up perk one with flak jacket and tack mask to hopefully make it worth it but i don't know i kind of feel like i need the speed reloader on the mozu because i pull my secondary so much on this game i'm insecure about my shot okay how much damage does a melee do i know that it takes two shots to kill somebody with a melee from full hp but how much does the first one do <laughs> What are you doing, puppy? Where, where is he? I'm lit up. No shit, I'm lit up. I'm always lit up. They always know where I am. Just what this game feels like. I constantly feel like I'm always on the radar. Whether I have ghosts or not, there's just something tracking me at all times. Is there a class that you can actually build that will hide you from absolutely everything? Is there a class like that? I might have to try to figure that out. Because I feel like so many people on this game, because there are so many different tracking things, I feel like people, their actual game sense is not that great. It's just all dependent on all the equipment and shit sitting around. 
play the fuck out of this lobby, though. I'm trying to find some, like, bad players, please, so I can have fun. I'm honestly super excited for this whole thing that I have working on in the background, though, for sure. Dude, my head itches so much. Uh, my scalp has actually been looking pretty good. Honestly, it's actually, it's been looking pretty good, so hopefully everything will be good. We'll probably see this half for a couple more weeks. I know a lot of people want me to do, like, a whole reveal thing. I probably will at some point, but can't wait until a couple months into this game and I just get into these full-blown sniper lobbies, every single lobby. Can't wait for that shit. It just feels like every single lobby is the most sweaty lobby, as expected. Just like every other Call of Duty, for at least the first month or so, everyone's sweating. It's not even like it's necessarily a bad thing. I just can't... Get, I'm just getting my ass whipped, okay? Watch this dog run past somebody and eat my ass. This dog is ridiculous, dude. Like, I just can't get over how good this dog is. Like, just start running Nomad for the free, like, five kills that thing will get you. This isn't a fun lobby either. Uh, I don't want to back out, though. This guy has armor and extra HP. There's no way I'm going to be able to actually kill him. It's just not possible. You heard that, right? About four or five days into this fucking game now, and I just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. But there is some shit. I actually think that's probably why a lot of the other sniper rifles are underperforming a lot of the time. It's not that they're all incredibly weak. It's that there are so many things in the game that give people extra HP that unless you have more than enough damage to kill somebody in one shot almost guaranteed, it's very likely that you're going to get a hit marker with how many different things are actually able to block things. Like, you have multiple shields in the game. You have overhealing things. You have armor. The stim shot so they can re-challenge with things if you can't guarantee the first shot will kill them. There's a lot of things in this game that make it so the sniper rifles have a really difficult time actually one-shotting. And then the one sniper rifle that you can use that guarantees the one-shots, it's great that it's guaranteeing the one-shot and it's good that it's slower, but it only has five bullets, so half the time you're just reloading. That's why I had the speed reloader thing on it because the reload itself is also incredibly long, as it should be. I don't really know where I'm going with this. It's just... Let me complain, okay? <laughs> also, yes, speed reloader on the Mozu is absolutely needed for me. Also, I feel like the vents in Arsenal are way too populated all the time. I don't know why people keep going in this fucking vent. It's like one of the most annoying parts of the map, and I don't know why so many people go into them. I've played full games where there were constant battles. I could, If there were a heat map to show exactly where everybody was dying and where all the fighting was happening, the majority of deaths were happening in this vent. All right, I get it. You got the scan. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm actually gonna emote and everything. Also, we see people play planting the sensor darts inside of the vent, so you have to go into the vent to get rid of it. I'm gonna start rage quitting real soon here, I'm just saying. Let me look into this and see exactly what I can do to be completely off the map. Period. The only time they're going to see me. Alright, so let's clear the class really quick. Boom, flak jacket. Okay. Flak jacket, tack mask. Gonna be cold-blooded. Enemy AI will be delayed when targeting you. Player-controlled score streaks will not highlight you. Okay. Then going into here, we need ghost. So, I mean, I could get rid of these and that would free up, what, three spots to be completely off the radar though this is only increased resistance to nothing that's like scanning though so that whole perk setup right here is pretty much no bullshit but we're trying to just stay off the radar so let's get rid of these so that's the class here to try to stay completely off the radar so there's cold-blooded ghosts and dead silence i think that virtually stops everything that could possibly track me here's the thing i mean it doesn't ultimately matter if i'm just running around trying to shoot people with this loud ass sniper rifle right <laughs> is there a silencer that can go on the paladin <laughs> Fuck no. I don't even think that Kashka needs this fast mags, honestly. I remember back on MW2, I used to really believe that FMJ definitely made your gun stronger as far as overall damage goes. I know it only says that it does more damage through walls and things like that and increased penetration. But honestly, whenever I threw on extended mags on MW2, it just felt like my sniper rifle was definitely weaker. I don't know if there was any kind of bug there or if that was ever addressed or confirmed that it does in fact make your gun stronger. Someone's in the vent already? I've noticed I've been catching a lot more people off guard running this class so far. More people in the vent. You just hear them clacking around in there. You guys are actually serious. They're like little rats just living inside of the vents. Look at them. He's Ooh, gone. I didn't think that would land. If that first shot wasn't a hit marker, I may have actually been able to recover in time and take a second shot at that group of people. Probably only would have gotten a double kill right there. Probably not even a collat, but... Ruin. Threat down. Battery 
wavy. Go off me! Can't wait until I can sit down and just play this shit for hours among hours instead of spending like 15 hours editing. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't fucking wait. You don't really need quick draw two on the Kashka. That seems a little ridiculous. At least back in the beta it was. You got the Straylock operator mod. I probably won't use that. I'm just pulling that second. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, it's good job guys. Later. <laughs>